you want people to feel the love of the congregation, that they feel like this is a family, okay? And especially in Israel, because we have these commandments that we need to adhere to. So I know it's painful, but, and I know there's going to be a lot of tissues tonight, but it, 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 it's something that I really want to talk about. Uh, because we these this is part of the healing of the nation because death is from life and I tell you the other night when the bishop brought out that scripture about you know that uh, the grave is like a woman's womb baby that hit me like a ton of bricks I was complete I, mind completely blown at that point so who are we to take away the, the will of the of the heavenly thought interesting um is that when people grieve and people grieve differently the people who have have lost something that what they want they want support from people who are close to them they 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 want acknowledgement of the grief they want people to pray for them they want to kind of use your strength your courage um with them and you can never replace the loss of a child even if someone like my both my grandmothers had 12 children and as their sons and their daughters had died they still going to talk about their babies okay still so don't don't say to someone oh well you have you know 10 other kids they're still going to be mourning the two that they lost everybody's exactly. grief is different so it's nice to be a comfort and to be a true friend in the time that somebody really needs you and this is still relatively new like every single time um there's someone that uh, passes in the congregation or someone needs me to, to to reach out to them and to help them with it every situation is different every sister every family they need something different so depending on that personal relationship that you have with that particular person then you're able to comfort them on on their level so someone that i may have a really close relationship with or who has a really good trust factor with me they're able to scream curse scream all that yell cry throw things or whatever whereas you may not necessarily have that relationship with somebody else where they may feel like you're intruding on their personal space but what most people want they really sincerely want you you to pray for them to acknowledge their grief hugs you know um food um things like that are always going to be um helpful and we can read all the scriptures we are women of faith and i can read all the scriptures about death i can read all these scriptures i can go over the classes that the men went over about you know we're going to see them again the dead shall rise first in christ we know all those things but what we have to do is we have to believe those things and we have to keep those things to, to, to our faith and build them up during the time of death. Someone just put in there that she lost, had a stillborn 30 years ago and she still remembers it like it was yesterday. So the pain is still going to be there for a long time. Another phase is anger and bargaining. It is not uncommon for someone who is grieving to experience feelings of anger or frustration. Some people may feel angry at a person who caused a loss, such as a drunk driver. Others may feel feelings of anger di directly directed towards God or a higher power for not preventing the loss. Some who grieve experience anger towards the lost loved one and may blame the person for leaving them. During this time, some people are grieving may try to bargain for a chance to have things end with a different outcome. Who is mad? Who's mad? Who's mad at God? Let's be honest. I've spoken to people who were mad, mad at God. Like, how could you let this happen? And this is really challenging. And this is because your faith is really being challenged at this point. They try to tell us that our strength is measured by a man. That's not true. That's not true. And a woman's role is weakness if we submit to him. But we know our true power.